GoodCloud, the remote management platform that allows you to configure your routers from a single pane of glass. When accessing GoodCloud, you will first encounter the login screen. Your username and password will be given to you after purchasing the device. If you did not receive a login, please contact our support team. After logging into the portal, you will be presented with the dashboard. The dashboard displays information about online offline statuses of all devices, if there is anything wrong with the devices, and the location of your devices. Clicking on the Groups tab will show all devices belonging to your account. To add a group, click on the Add Group button, then configure the group with the required information. After setting up the group, it can be accessed by clicking on the hyperlink using the name of the group. This will take you to the device list filtered to only the devices contained in that group. Clicking on the device list will show all devices regardless of the group. Navigating to the device list will display all devices inside of your account. From the list you will be able to view information such as device status, WAN IP address, and LTE signal. To get more granular, there is a filter that can be applied to this list. By entering any device-specific information, you can filter to find your device if your list is large enough. By selecting a device, you will be able to execute device-specific commands. By hovering over Settings, you will be able to see the option Modify Configuration. After clicking on the Configuration Manager, you will be able to configure the device's settings without needing to log into the device. Manage is where you will be able to move devices to a group after one is created. Note that all of these options are available to be sent to more than one device at a time. To navigate to the device information page, you will need to click on the hyperlink of the router you want to view. From the router page, you will be able to view information such as device online status, device name, assigned group, and device specific information. Scrolling down will reveal information about the WAN interfaces. Mousing over the LTE bars will show signal information. Router status shows all information about the router's current state, including information about memory usage, battery life, and uptime. Wi-Fi status enables you to turn on and off the Wi-Fi remotely. Note that you will still need to enter the configuration page to change the Wi-Fi SSID and password. From the client list page, you will be able to view all information about the connected devices. This includes information about the device's IP address, MAC address, current speeds, and total usage. You can also block devices from this interface. Timeline is a log of all commands or events that have executed on the router. There is also the option to filter this page. The Tools tab allows troubleshooting commands to be sent remotely. This includes things such as ping and traceroute. Remote access can also be done from the router's information page. Clicking on the Remote Access button will take you to the router's local interface. The router performs a tunnel to the interface, so a static IP is not needed to remotely access the device.